find two subspaces of R squared whose union is not a subspace. So let's go ahead and work this out. So to figure this out, uh, one way to do it is to draw a picture and think about what's going on. So there's the y-axis and there's the x-axis. And so any subspace of R squared must pass uh, through the origin because it has to actually contain uh, the zero vector right here. So one easy case is to just take two lines that pass through the origin. So let's take maybe this line here, and this will be the line y equals x. And this subspace, we can call this w1. This is the set, and it's, it's the set where uh, the x and y components are the same, right? y is always equal to x. So let's use a, so this is aa, such that a is a real number. So this is certainly a subspace of R squared. It can obviously contains a zero vector because you can set a equal to zero, and it's closed under vector addition, and it's also closed under scalar multiplication. So this is very easy to show. Uh, it's a good exercise. Uh, let's think of another simple uh, subspace. How about uh, this one here, right? The line y equals zero. So the line, the x-axis, right? So the line y equals zero. So the red line is y equals zero, and let's call that subspace W2. And this is the set of all vectors um, whose second component is zero. So the y coordinate is zero. So we can write this as, say, b0, such that b, b is a real number. And again, it's very easy to show that this is a subspace. It passes through the origin, so it does contain the zero vector. And you can see simply by setting b equal to zero, you get an element of w sub 2. It's closed under vector addition, and it's also closed under scalar multiplication. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at w, which is the union uh, of w1, union w2. And the claim is that this is not a subspace. Let me rewrite this. This is aa, such that a is a real number, union. And this is b0, such that b is a real number. And we're going to show basically it's not closed under vector addition, right? Because it obviously contains a zero vector because the zero vector is in both of the sets. They're both subspaces. So condition one, uh, which says that uh, it's not empty, uh, well, it's certainly not empty, right? So we can't use that to show it's not a subspace. This should not, though, be closed under vector addition. And intuitively, um, he here's why. Let me use a different color. Let's try this one. Say I pick a vector here and I pick a vector here and I add these two vectors up, uh, the resulting vector may or may not be uh, on this line, right? So uh, let's take two simple vectors. Uh, so take, let's try um, 3, 3. I'm just making these up on the spot. I actually haven't done this problem. Take 3, 3. That's in here, right? So it's certainly in W. And let's see, take uh, 1, 0. That's in here. And so it's in the union, so it's certainly in W. So both of these guys are in W. But let's look at 3, 3 plus the vector 1, 0. So let's see, this is 3 plus 1, which is 4, and 3 plus 0, which is 3. So let's see, this guy is not in W2 because 3 is not equal to 0. And all the elements of W2 have second component equal to 0. So then... 4, 3, it's not in W2, and it's not in W1 either, right? It's not in W1 either, because if it was in W1, uh, the X component is equal to the Y component, and you see 4 is not equal to 3. So 4, 3 is not in the union. In particular, it's not in W, right? W is the union. So we have uh, two vectors in W whose sum uh, is not in W. So W is not closed under vector addition, so it's not a subspace of R squared. So I hope that video made sense.